Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be adding some animations to our enemy. Last time we made him attack us and that worked pretty well. So we'll open up our zombie animator that we made a couple of episodes ago whenever we imported this character and we can see that we have a zombie idle animation but if we go to our animations folder and we go to uh, FPS human walk or zombie walk we, we can just drag it in and uh, have a new animation and then we can create a transition to here and then just right click and create that transition back now sim simplest way to do this is just to go um, and have a boolean that will be uh, is walking and then uh, we can transition to this uh, without exit time so uncheck that whenever is walking is true and we'll go back without exit time whenever is walking is false pretty simple now we should be able to go ahead and um, I'll just play the game really quickly because I want to see how this works so if I look at the enemy there uh, and then I try to click this uh, he is running his walking animation and if I uncheck this you can see that it's just the idle animation so that works fine now we just have to go into our script and uh, make that work so in our script we'll go enemy and open that up this shouldn't be hard at all to do because we already have two functions that we need we have go to target which means that we start walking and we have stop enemy which well stops the enemy so what we want to do is just go ahead and create a new variable up here that's going to be called animator and I'm just going to call it anim and in our start function we'll just go anim equals to get component nav mesh or not nav mesh even sorry uh, animator get component animator that's pretty simple now whenever we uh, go to target we'll go ahead and say anim dot set bool and then we need a string which is the bool's name which is is walking and then we just uh, tell it to be true or false so we want them to be true whenever we start walking and now you can just take this copy it paste it in here and then, then just instead of saying true here just say false Let's see how that goes. Seems like we got a um, error because we are not assigning any kind of animator because the enemy object that our enemy script is attached on doesn't have a animator. Animator is on its child object. So a very simple solution to this is just to go back to our start method and instead of saying get component, we'll just say get component in children. Now this function will go through the child objects and then it will pick the controller or the animator controller from the uh, child object. Click start and you can see that he is walking right now and he's basically chasing us around. Uh, he's a bit too fast for me but okay. And that works perfectly fine. I said it's going to be an easy episode and it is. And hopefully this helped you, hopefully you understood something new, you learned something new. And uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. You can share this around with your friends. You can uh, go follow my social media. There's links to that in the description. And I really appreciate if you went to my Patreon. And if you have some spare money that, for example, you don't need. Um, then you can uh, support me on there. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.